The year was 1958 when a remarkable television series known as The Rifleman first graced the screens. A gritty tale of a sharpshooting widower and his young son, it captivated audiences with its unique blend of action, family values, and moral lessons. But what enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? Did The Rifleman leave an indelible mark on your memory? As we delve into the history of this iconic show, we'll uncover some intriguing facts and anecdotes that shed light on its enduring legacy. From Chuck Connors' charismatic portrayal of Lucas McCain to the powerful father-son dynamic, The Rifleman is a series that continues to resonate with viewers, even decades later. We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, let's explore the world of the Rifleman together, where the Old West meets timeless values. The Rifleman, a beloved TV series from 1958, was a classic Western drama that made a significant impact on popular culture. The show was created by Arnold Lavin and developed by Sam Peckinpah, blending elements of the Western genre with family-oriented storytelling. Set in the 1880s, it followed the life of Lucas McCain, played by Chuck Connors, a widowed rancher, an expert marksman, and his young son, Mark, portrayed by Johnny Crawford. Lucas wielded a modified Winchester rifle, earning him the nickname The Rifleman, and used his sharpshooting skills to maintain law and order in the rough and tumble town of North Fork. The series stood out for its unique combination of action, moral dilemmas, and strong father-son relationships. Lucas McCain became an iconic character, epitomizing the values of courage, justice, and parental responsibility. The show's enduring appeal can be attributed to its memorable theme music and its exploration of complex moral issues amidst the backdrop of the Wild West. The Rifleman left a lasting imprint on popular culture, influencing subsequent Western series and contributing to the enduring legacy of Chuck Connors as an American TV legend. It's a testament to the power of storytelling and character-driven drama in television history, showcasing the strength of the human spirit and the bond between a father and his son in the face of adversity. The TV series The Rifleman from 1958 broke new ground by being the first network television series to depict a single parent raising a child. The show's main character, Lucas McCain, played by Chuck Connors, was a widowed father who raised his son, Mark McCain, in the Old West. This single parent dynamic was a novel concept on television at the time, and it added a unique element to the show's storytelling. In an interesting tidbit, the rifle used by Chuck Connors in the series was the same one used by John Wayne in the classic film Stagecoach. This connection to a well-known Western movie added authenticity to the rifleman. Chuck Connors initially turned down the role of Lucas McCain due to concerns about the low salary offered. However, the show's producers recognized his chemistry with child actor Tommy Kirk from their work together in Old Yeller. They eventually offered Connors a significantly higher salary, and he accepted the role. This decision proved to be a wise one as Connors became closely associated with the character of Lucas McCain and the success of the series. In conclusion, The Rifleman not only made television history by portraying a single parent, but also featured the iconic rifle used by John Wayne and showcased the importance of casting decisions in the world of entertainment. In the 1958 TV series The Rifleman, Chuck Connors played the character Lucas McCain. An interesting fact about the show is that in some episodes, Lucas McCain displayed ambidextrous ability by handling and firing his rifle with both his right and left hand. This unique skill was never explained within the series. The show's pilot was initially created by Sam Peckinpah, and Chuck Connors' character was named John McCain, not Lucas McCain. In this original version, John McCain was not a widower and did not have a son. However, producer Arnold Lavin had the idea to transform the character into a widower with a son, Mark. Additionally, the character's weapon of choice was changed from a pistol to a customized Winchester rifle. The backstory of Lucas McCain in the series also includes the fact that his wife, Margaret, died of smallpox. Following her death, Lucas and his son Mark moved from Enid, Oklahoma, to New Mexico. These interesting details add depth to the character of Lucas McCain and contribute to the unique elements of the Rifleman, making it a memorable series for fans of classic television. 
The Rifleman, a 1958 TV series, was a classic in the Western genre. One interesting fact is that Lucas McCain, played by Chuck Connors, was shown smoking a cigarette only once in the series, specifically in Season 1, Episode 1, titled The Sharpshooter. This is in stark contrast to the actor himself, Chuck Connors, who was known to smoke up to 60 cigarettes a day. Another intriguing detail is that the set for the inside of the McCain house was not exclusive to the Rifleman. It was also used in other westerns, most notably in episodes of Wanted, Dead or Alive, which starred Steve McQueen. Lastly, in the opening credits of the show, Chuck Connors is said to have fired 12 shots with the rifle, setting the tone for the sharpshooting action that the series was known for. These facts offer a glimpse into some of the lesser-known aspects of The Rifleman, a show that left a lasting mark on the Western TV genre with its unique characters and memorable moments. The Rifleman, a TV series from 1958, featured some remarkable moments and characters. One noteworthy fact is that Sammy Davis Jr. appeared in season four as an outlaw named Tip Corey. He impressed the cast and crew with his gun handling skills, doing all the quick draws and twirling himself. This unexpected talent of his left a lasting impression on the show. Another interesting tidbit is that the character Lucas McCain was ranked number 32 in TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time. This recognition reflects the impact of the character and the show on the viewers during its time. Additionally, John Anderson holds the record for the most appearances as a unique character on the show, making 11 appearances in various roles, often as a heavy. John's versatility in portraying different characters added depth to the series. These facts offer a glimpse into the unique elements that made The Rifleman a memorable series in 1958, with unexpected guest appearances and recognition for its iconic TV dad character. It's a testament to the show's enduring appeal. The Rifleman, a 1958 TV series, is a classic show known for its unique elements. One of its notable aspects is the portrayal of Lucas McCain a character equipped with an 1892.44 minus 40 Winchester rifle. This firearm is a central element of the show, adding a distinct flavor to the series. Another intriguing facet of the Rifleman is the character Doc Burridge. Over the years, this character was portrayed by several different actors. Sometimes, the role of Doc Burridge was even taken on by more than one actor in a single season. This variation in casting for the same character is a unique aspect of the show. Interestingly, the Rifleman found its way into popular culture in a light-hearted manner when it was spoofed in Mad Magazine as the Rifle Man. This parody reflects the show's impact and the recognition it received. In conclusion, The Rifleman from 1958 is a TV series with distinctive elements, such as Lucas McCain's iconic rifle, the changing faces of Doc Burridge, and even a playful spoof in Mad Magazine. These factors have contributed to the show's enduring popularity and place in television history. As we bid adieu to the timeless classic, The Rifleman, we are reminded that great stories are like old friends, they never truly leave our hearts. The year was 1958, and in a world far removed from our own, this iconic TV series graced our screens. It's a show that not only shaped television history, but also touched the depths of our collective souls. For those who followed the adventures of Lucas McCain, his trusted rifle, and the precious bond he shared with his son, Mark, the Rifleman became more than just a show. It became a piece of our lives, an enduring memory etched in the annals of time. The values of justice, family, and the unyielding spirit of a single father etching out a life on the frontier are universal themes that continue to resonate with us. This is where we invite you to reflect, to journey back to those evenings when you were perched on the edge of your seat, watching Lucas McCain take on the challenges of North Fork. Did you admire his unflinching resolve? Or perhaps it was his fatherly wisdom that left an indelible mark on your heart. Share your thoughts, your cherished memories, and the lessons you took away from this remarkable show. In the grand tapestry of television history, the Rifleman is a shining thread, weaving its way through generations. Let your reflections, your stories, and your nostalgia become a part of this rich fabric. The legacy of this series lives on, not just in the episodes we rewatch, but in the conversations we have about it. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with us, for being a part of this celebration of a timeless classic. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. 
Let's continue to keep the spirit of the Rifleman alive through our shared stories and cherished memories. Until next time, remember, it's not just a TV show, it's a part of who we are.